Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 4.0, and today is day 16. So today I wanted to talk to you about, as we continue the process of generating leads, what it would look like if we had one that was ready to see homes and we wanted to send them a buyer's rep and IABS. And so in order to do that, we're going to want to make sure that we have our DocuSign account connected to KW Command, because that's typically where we're going to start sending our documents out of. If for any reason you're still using Dotloop, that's your prerogative, and yet uh, I'm going to train on DocuSign. So in order to do that, we're going to click on this drop-down box. We're going to choose the Settings menu within our KW Command platform. And you will see that if you scroll down, DocuSign will be one of the selections that you have available underneath Digital Signatures and Transactions. And so when your account is not connected, you'll see you have this Not Connected Current Status in the blue button that says Connect Account. So I'm going to go ahead and click on connect account. It's going to ask me my preferred first and last name and preferred email. And then it's going to say, well, do you have an account already? Because if you've already been using DocuSign at any point in the past, you want to make sure that you go with this route. If you've never used DocuSign, if you're brand new to KW Command, then you'll go this route of sending a registration email and then go do the following instructions in the email to connect your account. So I'm going to go ahead and instead click on login here. It's going to say what's my email i'm going to just i pass all of this again right i already have an account i'm just going to click on login to docusign and it's going to give you this pop-up now i've had some people that don't have this show up make sure that you do not have a pop-up blocker installed or actively running on your chrome browser so number one always make sure you're in chrome number two make sure you do not have a pop-up blocker installed um, or at least actively running so it's going to ask me to sign into DocuSign. So I'm going to put in my username and password, click on login, and then from there it should connect. And now it says DocuSign is now ready. It can be found in the opportunities in the document section. So fantastic. Let's go into our opportunities. And we had created an opportunity previously from one of the leads that we had received off of our ad. So we're going to go ahead and click and cultivate. And here is that actual opportunity. So I'm going to click on the name of the opportunity to open it. From there, I have the ability to see all of the profile or all of these tabs at the top. And to send off a buyer's rep or IABS, I need to click on documents. Now, the first thing that I probably want to do is connect this opportunity to DocuSign. And I'm going to do that by clicking on this down arrow and then choosing DocuSign. What that's going to do is basically make a connection between KW Command and DocuSign and then actually create a room in DocuSign with the details from my opportunity. So I'll click on continue and that should make that connection. It's going to create a room as you can see here and you can see the room's name is identical to the name that I had set up in my opportunity. So just a heads up, whatever you title your opportunity and then you make that connection is what your room is going to be called to start with in DocuSign. I want to go into the details tab here on the left hand side and I want to make sure that the buyer's information and my information as the buyer's agent have come across. So I can come over and start scrolling down here on the right hand side and you can see buyer one, the information was pulled in from command. So I have Luana's name and email address. And then if I continue to scroll down here on the right hand side, you can see my information came in as the buyer's agent. If for any reason that information did not come over or came over incomplete, you can always choose the edit button here, make the edits that you need to make, and then click on save. And then you'll have the information for your client that will start auto filling when you pull in your documents. Next from there, in order to get an IBS or a buyer's representation agreement, I'm just gonna click on documents. I want to add documents to this room and I'm going to choose DocuSign Forms. And from there I have a couple of different options. So <clears throat> if I choose DocuSign Forms Library, I should have access to, oh this is awesome, this is brand new, we didn't have access to our HAR documents so that's exciting for Houston agents. Um, but I should have access to libraries associated with my actual real estate license. So I could come in here and choose the Texas Association of Realtors Library and see all of the documents here. And so I could put in uh, information, let me just start typing it out and it should start showing up. And there you see um, information about brokerage services. So I could select that one. And then I want, uh, I don't, 
it's not called buyer's representation. It's called um, representation. Uh, there it is, residential buyer tenant representation agreement. So I'd want that document. So that's one way for me to select the documents that I want to bring in. The other way is that your market center should have set up some DocuSign forms groups. So when I choose DocuSign form groups, you can see this is how my market center organized theirs. Yours may be very different. However, I can come in and say, all right, it's a sales contract uh, for a residential, uh, it's not a condo, it's just a regular one to four. So if I choose that, then you're going to see a series of documents. Um, let me take out that search criteria. Here are all the documents that are required. And then you can see there are some additional ones that I might want to choose to bring in as well. So either way, I would just click on add. Those documents would then be brought into my room. And then from there, it's just a matter of clicking on the documents, beginning to fill them out and sending them off for signature. So I'm gonna pause here. We'll come back to this tomorrow. We'll actually go through the documents. I'll train you guys on how to fill out the documents, create an envelope, and then send off that document. So I hope everyone's having a fantastic day. As always, I'll look forward to speaking with you in the morning. Thanks so much, guys.